Hey what's up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over some interesting PlayStation news. If that sounds interesting, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're new, it really helps the channel grow. The first topic in the video is about how PlayStation could move to acquire a Japanese studio analyst suggests. Reading from PlayStation Universe, if there was any doubt that the console wars were over, January should have solved that problem. The acquisition wars have begun and they are well underway. We know to expect more acquisitions from pretty much most of the major players in the industry, particularly PlayStation, and a recent report indicates where that may come from. Speaking to website VGC, analyst Dr. Serkin Toto, chief executive officer of consultancy Canton Games, believes PlayStation's next acquisition could likely be a Japanese studio. Dr. Toto doesn't specify which ones they could go after, but remarks that Sony has a huge advantage in this case over Microsoft. The cultural barriers that Microsoft would, would have to overcome when purchasing a Japanese studio just aren't there with PlayStation. Sony, of course, has the home field advantage, and some of the challenges that would come up for Microsoft would not apply to Sony. It doesn't have to be one for the publicly traded powerhouses, but I believe Sony is at least considering making a move in Japan soon. After the big Bungie announcement, we may be waiting a while before we hear of more acquisitions, but make no mistake, they will definitely be happening. So yeah, I mean, obviously, the same day that PlayStation announced that they acquired Bungie, Jim Ryan came out and said that they're nowhere near done when it comes to acquisitions, they're just getting started. So yeah, I mean, if anyone in the gaming industry is going to buy a big japanese studio i mean it just makes sense for it to be sony because sony is a japanese company you know so when it comes to like capcom or sega or konami I i'm willing to bet like all the money in the world that sony would get get their hands on them way before microsoft i don't think microsoft has a chance you know because microsoft can throw a lot more money at those studios in japan but you know, the actual studios want would have to be, you know, they would want to be sold as well. And I feel like they would much rather go to Sony than, you know, Microsoft. So yeah, down below, let me know how you feel about PlayStation apparently is wanting to move to acquire a Japanese studio. Moving on to the next topic in the video, we're going to be talking about Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut update adds an Aloe surprise to celebrate Horizon Forbidden West upcoming launch. Reading from PlayStation Universe, Sucker Punch Productions has released a new Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut update today, which comes adds a little surprise inspired by Horizon Forbidden West protagonist Aloy ahead of the game's launch this month. Here's what the developer said about the latest Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut update on Twitter. We are so excited for Horizon Forbidden West from our friends at Gorilla. While we wait, today we've released a new patch for Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut that repairs a wind shrine to the north of Iki Island. Solve the puzzle they are to earn an Aloy inspired surprise. So yeah, this is really cool. I mean, I know this isn't like a big update at all, but I just thought it was pretty cool because obviously next Friday is the release of Horizon Forbidden West and I am so ready to finally play that game. You know, but it's just it's just cool seeing other developers supporting other developers. You know, now am I going to play Ghost of, Ghost of Tsushima now just to like unlock this Aloy outfit? No. I mean I mean in in the article itself it shows a picture of the outfit and it looks pretty cool, but I mean yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know about Sucker Punch, you know, allowing you to look like Aloy whenever you're playing Ghost of Tsushima. Moving on to the final topic in the video, we're going to be talking about Seafood Developer confirms additional post-launch content, but no plans for multiplayer. Reading from PlayStation Universe, Slow Clap has revealed that martial arts romp Sifu will, will receive additional post-launch support, although the game will remain strictly a single-player experience. Speaking with Gaming Bolt, Felix, the studio's marketing manager, was asked if there's any chance of multiplayer supporting support being added. Here's his response. Sifu will remain single player only. We are an independent studio with limited means and we wanted the team to focus on creating an immersive and distinctive single player experience. We do have additional content planned for post launch though. So yeah, again, not a big update, but I mean, obviously Sifu officially launches today. You know, I actually pre-ordered the game a couple days ago, so I got to play it for a little bit yesterday and you know, I might make a review of the game, you know, so down below, let me know if you would want 
to see my review of Sifu, but I really like Sifu. It is a phenomenal game. It's way better. It's way better than I ever expected. You know, but I'm also not that far. I'm only on the second level because the game is really difficult. Like, it is brutal. Like, if you don't master the gameplay, then you're not going to get far at all. You know, but as far as this, like, DLC that they're planning, all I want is, like, a John Wick outfit. And I'll be totally satisfied. If, if they, like, just a small patch and we can look like John Wick and just have, like, the long hair and, like, the black suit, I would be so happy, you know? Because I'm telling you, when you play this game, you do feel like, like, like Bruce Lee himself. Like, it is insane. Like, whenever you actually get decent at the game, you really feel like, like, no one can stop you, you know? So, just imagine that, but, like, you look like John Wick. You know, I mean, I just think that would look cool. But what do you guys think? What do you think seafood developers might actually add to the game? Would you want any DLC? And are you sad that there's not going to be multiplayer for this game? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like and consider subscribing if you're new by turning on the post notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. Until next time, guys, take care.